Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine at CES Unveiled. We're here at the Brio booth to find out why you can, in this case, you can actually stick a fork in a plug socket. We're here with Roger from Brio and a different way for, uh, for connection, uh, wall connections and stuff like that. Why don't you tell people a little bit about yourself? Sure, Jeff. I'm Roger Innes. Uh, I head up the, uh, the, the team Brio here. Uh, as you can see, we're here demonstrating our um, revolutionary outlet, uh, which we released about a month ago uh, at CES Unveiled in New York. So what we've done, Jeff, is we've actually changed the outlet and the way it works for the first time in 60 years. Uh, all your standard outlets are always on, powered on. 200 kids a month in the U.S. alone end up in the hospital over outlet burns. So what we did is built intelligence into our outlet, turned it into an off state. So the outlet is off, not on, until it requires a real load. And it has the ability to sense that load, a distinction between people and real power needs. So how does that work? It's a three-phase system. So the first phase is it's in off, as I explained to you. Then when you put a plug and it detects an actual need for a, a plug and not something else is put in it, then it goes to a low volt state, we call it safe mode. And then only when it senses power, the need for real power and the real need for a load versus a person or a finger or a fork, uh, then at that point in time, it will produce the power for you. I don't know, that's how I learned not to stick stuff into the plug <laughs> socket, so. Uh, but you know, Unfortunately, I, not everybody's lucky as you to learn that way, uh, right? Like I said, we changed that. We changed the form factor of it. It's, as you can see, it's, uh, it's unlike about any outlet you've probably ever seen before. In, in the form factor, we've made it round and, and uh, contemporary. But also, we've added uh, the, the Brio Smart. We've added features such as sensing capabilities. So we take our sensors, what we call Briolettes. You can mount those around your house. Those then, through Bluetooth, will feed information, sensing whether it's water, carbon monoxide, smoke, will alert your outlet that you have a problem, and your outlet will then send you wirelessly to your smartphone an alert that you have a problem at home. Okay, so there, there is a smartphone app. Uh, is it uh, iOS, Android? Yes, well, well to, to be determined, let's put it that way, okay? okay so it's yeah. still in development. It's still in development, exactly. Okay. Our intention is to release it in May, uh, so we're moving along very quickly on this. We had a lot of interest. A lot of people are uh, pretty excited about the product. You know, I think the uniqueness of it, not only the safety aspect, but I think for the first time, we're not, we're not, we're not taking intelligence and plugging something into the wall. It is residing in the wall, which is probably the most ubiquitous appliance you have in your household. The, I, I can see a whole lot of other options to this. Like when I came to CES, I went around my house and I unplugged everything uh, to save on power. So you could actually do that to uh, at stuff that's plugged in too, right? Absolutely. I mean, we've got a we've got a pretty long roadmap on this, but you can only release so much at a time. Oh, yeah. And so we're we're starting with uh, what is uh, you know the patented technology. The initial patented technology was the safe factor, uh, and like I said, that kind of upsets the Apple card in terms of the way outlets have always been made. Uh, and then the second part of that pr that process is the intelligence at the outlet level instead of uh, a plug-in, what we call wall words. The website goes live tomorrow. We're taking pre-orders for the product, so we're past. You know, we're in, we're in deep development now. We're moving toward actually toward pre-manufacturing and ultimately manufacturing very quick. So, and any release dates then? Yes, we're planning on the, the Brio Safe being available in May and the Brio Smart in uh, probably two months later. Any price points? These will be on our site tomorrow for the, ba the safe, basic safe socket for $49 and the smart outlet for uh, uh, $99. Thank you very much, Roger, for your time. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. And, of course, if you want to check everything out, uh, check out Brio. They'll have their website up. Uh, it should be up by now, so check it all out. Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine. Find everything over at Facebook.com forward slash Geekazine, YouTube.com forward slash Geekazine, or Geekazine.com. You guys geek out.